Hello, hello, hello to all my wonderful Taurians. This is Queen Amun Rock coming to you with a very special reading on today. Happy Sunday, Taurus. Hopefully you all are having a great day today. I know we just left Taurus season, so if I didn't get a chance to say happy birthday to you, if I missed the happy birthday, happy belated birthday to each and every one of you all. Again, I know you're having a great Sunday because that's the intention you set, right? Yes, we're going to get right into your reading. This is a general reading. These cards right here are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. These cards right here are the Sacred Self-Care Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. Let's get into your reading. We're also going to be talking about the number zero today, which is the God number. Yes. I have some tips for you at the end of the reading. If you want to hang in there and stick, hang in there with me. And here's some tips for you at the end. All right, Taurus, let's do it. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Taurians as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful Taurians? Yes, who are very logical, generous and trustworthy, very determined, understanding, kind, organized, patient, very reliable, practical, devoted, responsible, stable. Yes, ruling planet is Venus, planet of creativity and love. Yes, what information do we have for my wonderful gods and goddesses? That would be you, Taurus. What information do we have for my wonderful Taurians? Let's go. Yes, continue vibrating high, Taurus. Just continue vibrating high. Let the universe just handle everything. I'm telling you, things will work out. Things will work out exactly the way they're supposed to. Yeah, let the universe handle things, Taurus. All right, come on, cards. Get to it, get to it, good to it. I see you receiving money. This is nice. I see you having perfect synergy in the workplace. So some of you all will be getting raises on your job, which is nice. So here we go. This is about perspective. Five of Cups is really about perspective. I want you all to look up. Get up and look up and see just and being grateful for your life, no matter where you are in life right now, just being grateful for where you are right now. And just look up. Things are getting brighter for you. How you can do that is through tapping into taking action. This is your divine masculine side. So by default, you all are nurturers. I don't want you all to nurture this kind of energy, depression, anxiety, feeling hopeless, right? Feeling like you're just feeling defeated. Don't nurture that energy. Take action, tap into your divine masculine side and um, strengthen your solar and align your solar plexus chakras, right? So some of the essential oils, you can use any kind of citrusy oil um, if you like diffusers, you know, or you know, put them on, you know, parts of your body or whatever to just ignite a flame inside of you, right? Sit down somewhere, calm your nerves, listen to your high vibrational music. And just center in, right? Your solar plexus chakras is right under that breastplate right there. You want to get that power source going. Just tap in, fully, fully tap into that part of yourselves. I see you receiving money. And what it looks like, somebody's going to be receiving a raise at work, right? So listen, when I talk about when I talk about money, right? So let's say for instance, you feel like somewhat defeated in other areas of your life where you feel like okay, you didn't get money back from something or you loaned somebody some money they never paid you back or something happened with money, right? It comes back in other ways. For you, it's coming back in your paycheck at work, right? Mhm. Mm I see also focusing on loving yourself more. This is wonderful, right? Because this is the two of cups. You see two different, it looks like two different hands, right? But this represents actually your divine masculine and your divine feminine. You're seen and unseen, known and unknown, good side, bad side, all parts of you, right? This is you loving all parts of yourself, not allowing people to infiltrate your thoughts um, and make you feel bad about you being uniquely you, right? A very dynamic person is who you are. So you're not allowing anybody to make you feel bad for being who you are because guess what? They love you. They loved you at a certain point, but now that they can't manipulate you, they're creating all kinds of issues and problems for you. Don't let it happen, Taurus. Stay focused, right? See somebody getting a raise at work. Nice. Listen. The the way that people try to control you is by telling you, oh, you're not this and you're not that. If you're so horrible, if you're such a horrible person and you don't have this and you don't offer that and such, a, why don't they just leave? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But more importantly, why won't you just leave? You don't let a person get you to a point where you start to have a pessimistic view of yourself. You just leave. Leave the situation. You're not trying to control them. 
we are all gods, but some people don't even realize their own power. So that's why they manip they trying to manipulate you. You don't you don't need to be on the receiving end of someone else's manipulation, Taurus. Here we go, number zero. The number zero actually hovers between worlds, between numbers of positive value and numbers of negative value. When you add zero behind any number, it expands and it empowers that number. So would you rather have a $3 raise or a $3 million raise? <laughs> Those zeros behind that three, right? Of course. So um, with $3 million, you can do a whole lot of things. $3 million raise, you can do with a whole lot of things. You can take care of your family. You can... You know, and I'm talking about the people, your soul tribe. We're not talking about being manipulated by a person who's already shown you that they will speak death into your life that cause you to start second guessing yourself, right? The number zero, like I said, represents the God number. It symbolizes the greatest power in multidimensional reality, the supreme balance between light and dark, right? That's that, where's the card I just said? Light and dark, right? When you get to a God level of clarity, there's a supreme balance. You love all sides of yourself. The, the side of you that, um, you know, is high vibrational, the side of you that is low vibrational, the side of you that is, could be materialistic or out of balance some days or even feeling dependent. You love all side of yourself in totality. You're not ashamed of it. You say, hey, listen, there are certain areas in myself that maybe I need to um, balance out. But it makes me uniquely me. Somebody loves it, right? Yes, absolutely. And you're that somebody who loves yourself, right? Yeah. So what a what one person may have an issue or problem with with you, another person will find it delightful. So don't worry about what other people say. Hey, maybe you're just not good for that person or maybe they're not good for you, whatever. But you want to move forward. I see you all loving yourselves deeper and harder, meditating more getting up from a place of feeling hopeless and getting into a place of feeling hopeful. I see legacy wealth. I see that same person who tried to cause you all kinds of chaos, confusion, and disruption in your life trying to come back into your life. But you'll remove when you remove these blindfolds, you'll see it, right? They've hurt you so bad in the past, Taurus, that you felt like, man, I never want to feel that kind of feeling again. And who would blame you for not wanting to feel that feeling again? But one day you'll look back and say, I can't believe I stayed so long. Why did I give this person this much energy, space, and time in my life, right? Yeah, it was disrupting everything. Because they have a lot of internal conflicts and because you all are so patient and very trustworthy and, and uh, kind and organized and, and, you know, devoted, the universe had to, that fire in you had to protect you. I want you all to start pulling your birth charts, Taurus, so that you can see if you have fire in your chart, because it's the fire that protected you from them. Every single time they tried to burn you, this person could have been a low vibrating Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Every single time they tried to burn you, they actually ended up burning themselves. And so it caused you to be emotionally out of balance, right? So, because a high vibrating fire sign wouldn't have done it. A high vibrating fire, well, I mean, when I say fire sign, I mean Sagittarius, Leo, um, or Aries, they would not have tried to burn you, right? They would have just moved on. But a low vibration one would have tried to burn you every single time. But they ended up burning themselves. So, you know, this person is going to try to come back into your space. But guess what? You're going to have a no sir and a no ma'am for them. No thank you. I'm good. See you. Have a nice life. <laughs> they're going to try to come back. I'm telling you. They're going to try to come back. They're going to try to appeal to your emotional side. But don't let them do it. Mm -mm. Don't let them do it. They tried to burn you. It should only take one time a person tries to burn you. That's all you need to see. Hey, logic, patience, organized, being kind, determined, all that should go out the window. <laughs> No, I'm cutting you off because I don't want to vibrate low. I need to protect my energy, so I don't want to vibrate low. I'm kind, devoted, all that you saw, all of those things in me because I'm here. But you try to burn me once, I may have let it slip through the cracks and gave you a, gave you a, a free pass. Oh, they were going through something or whatever. But you do it again, no, you out, right? They're going to try to appeal to you in ways. This person could identify as a man or woman, by the way. They're going to try to appeal to you in ways that's going to pull on your emotional strings. I'm telling you, Taurus, run. First of all, you don't even need to run. Just sever all ties with them. 
block all access. And I'm talking about caulk it up, cement it up, all access needs to be closed off from them. They shouldn't have any access to you. That way you don't even know if they try to contact you because their number went straight to the blocked folder. They went straight to the junk file if they try to email you. If they contact family members and friends, you don't even get the message because your family has already said, nope, don't contact them. We're not even going to give them the message that you even asked about them because they're trying to heal. So you, you'll you never get the message. And then you'll start um, freeing up space to receive your legacy wealth. Yeah. Yep. You will start freeing up space for your legacy wealth. Yes. You don't have time. You're not making time. Yeah. So let me teach you how to tune into your God station, right? Because again, you all are very logical thinkers. You're earth signs and you're fixed signs. So... Um, you all can get pretty fixated on your beliefs, but I want to help you with something, right? Tapping, fully tapping into the God in you. The first thing is when your internal alarms are going off, start moving away from that person, place, or thing. Just start moving away. There's something in you, and usually for earth signs, it'll come in a form of like, um, a physical something happening to you could be sick. You can feel the hairs raise up on the back of your neck. Something physically needs to happen to you because that's the universe getting messages through to you, right? Number two, listen to God in you. It is your intuition, your gut feeling, or simply an uncomfortable feeling. Number three, where there is smoke and flashing light, there's danger. Yes, yes, yes. You wouldn't see smoke in a building and just go, oh, somebody may be cooking something. Mm -mm. You you going to, you may go investigate, but if you're in a, like an office building or whatever, you see smoke or you see some flashing lights, that's going to cause some kind of, some alarm to go off for you to say, I got to get out of here. I got to get to safety. I'm not jumping on the elevator. Don't want to get caught in the elevator where things just kind of sort of lock up. I'm going to go down the stairs and go out the door and wait for somebody to come out and say, it's free to go back in the building. Yes. So yes, you want to get to safety. Um, number four, stop volunteering to be Fire Marshal Bill's assistant just to be an extra in their lives. You don't want to do that. Some people are familiar with the show In Living Color, right? If you're not, you can just YouTube it. Like type in In Living Color and then the, the character Fire Marshal Bill. Some people are attracted to people who are center stage, right? Not even realize they're being used. Stop being an extra in people's lives, right? So that they can shape and mold you to the way that they want you to be. Nuh uh. No, 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 no. You are uniquely and gift gifted yourself. You are a God. You got to start recognizing it. Also, number um, five, stop trying to listen to music through static. You were perfectly fine without them. I say it one more time, Taurus. You were perfectly fine without them. <laughs> Here they come with their static, right? Static may seem like it's exciting at first because a person introduces you to their channel. You're already riding down the, the, uh, the road and you're listening to your favorite radio station. Here they come into your lives and they change the station. So you adjust because why? You're like, okay, that person's saying, oh, let me open my mind up and see if, you know, I like their station. But it's constant static. You realize it's just constant static. Some people stay in it for years, constant static. Oh, well, we have some good times and we have some bad times. But the bad times outweigh the good times. So it's a waste, <laughs> a waste of time. Their energy is in the way. Again, let's talk about number six. Number six is you only need one moon cycle really to see who a person is. Really only one moon phase. If you really ascended, if your spirit has ascended and you're seeing things from a God level of clarity, that very first conversation will tell you what you need to know about them. It'll tell you if they're a liar, if they're a sociopath, if they're a cheater, if they um, uh, uh, um, pass blame onto their ex 100%. Uh, the, the reason why the relationship, the last relationship before you didn't work out, it was all their ex. Their ex was evil. Their ex was this. Their ex was, oh, yeah, well, how long were you in a relationship with evil should be your question to them. Oh, I was in a relationship with evil for 20 years. Really? Okay. So you know they were contaminated, right? Not only were they contaminated, they're also a bold-faced liar. Okay. Yeah. So we have eight major moon phases. You have the new moon, the waxing crescent moon, the first quarter moon, which is, all, which is a half moon, the waxing gibbous moon. You have the full moon. You have the waning gibbous moon, last quarter moon, waning crescent moon. We're moving towards a full moon where everything is about to be realized 
exposed, illuminated, both within us and around us. You get to see exactly who you're dealing with. It's coming if it hasn't already shown itself. But if you've been in a relationship with a person for many years, you have many, many, many full moon moments, right? Where things were being exposed left and right about them. So the question is, why are you still in it? I see somebody leaving the relationship, right? Um, I'm going to show you something. Okay. When you're in a relationship with the person, this is a legacy wealth card, right? So some people can't see the legacy. Well, they can't see the whole picture. You can see the whole picture when I show it to you like this, right, Taurus? But if I showed it to you like this, you wouldn't really know what to make it at. Is that a foot? I don't know. Because you're only looking at one pixel instead of the whole picture. When you're meeting somebody, whether it's for professional, whether it is... Like companies interview people and they, they want to see if you're a good fit for the organization, right? They want to just see if you're a good fit. Some people are not a good fit because they don't have the credentials. I mean, they don't have the qualifications, you know, on their resume. Um, they don't interview well, that kind of thing. But let's say you, you were able to get in, right? It's because somebody felt like, the interviewer felt like, you would be a good fit for this, but... Just to make sure, they put you on a probationary period, right? Sometimes it's 30, sometimes it's 60, sometimes it's 90 days, sometimes it's up to a year and a day. But nevertheless, they want to know if you're a good fit for their culture, right? So they send other people to investigate. Those other people will be your ancestors and your spirits, right? You are sending higher so that you can, you can see things from a God level of clarity, right? So when you're putting that out there, show me something, show me anything about this person because this person seems to be really nice, but show me anything that I'm not seeing. This is the God level of clarity. Information starts coming back to you. So now you're keenly listening to conversation. You're keenly watching what they're saying, but not with your, your um, earthly eyes and earthly um, ears. You're listening with your spiritual ears. You're watching with your spiritual eyes. You're seeing things that you never saw before, all within that 30 days, right? First day they told you, oh, it was all my ex's fault, and they come across so nice and sweet, and I don't know why, you know, my ex did this, that, to me, and then I realized my ex had mental problems. I hear it from people all the time, and I'm like, really? They stayed with a person who had mental health issues for 30 years, now they're not with the person. They're talking about them like a dog. Hmm. They're confiding in you. They just met you and they're telling you that their ex was crazy. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So you got to start listening to what people aren't saying. They're sitting there telling you that if it doesn't work out for you for any length of time, you're going to be the next person that they're calling crazy. Something's wrong with you. It's, not, it's never them. It's always the other person. Right? You hear what I'm saying, Taurus? Good. So again, that person is going to try to come back into your space, but I'm telling you, they have this, they, you, first of all, you're not going to let them come back into your space because they cause too much damage, right? But they're going to try to come back a different kind of way, like being um, sweet and kind and nice, trying to appeal to what they think they know about you. But see, what they're going to come, what they're going to encounter is the new, and um, the new you, which has always been you, actually, it's going to feel like a new you to them. Because you won't want to have anything to do with them. Because you've seen it all. You've seen it all in them, right? Number nine, you block your own blessings by overstaying your own welcome in people's lives, right? Once a person shows you who they are, once your ancestors, most high God, and you're the God and you shows you who a person is, that's all you need to see. That's all you need to see. So anyway, I see a lot of money being released to you as a result of you being strong enough and not going backwards with this person. There's nothing to go back to. You were in bondage when you were with them. I see legacy wealth, perfect synergy in the workplace. You're receiving a raise, you know, starting to think about, okay, you know what? I can start a business. I can create legacy wealth. I don't really need that person. I really don't because you don't. You really don't need them. You don't need them in their drama. So here we go. Burning bowl ceremony, burning bowl ritual. You get their name, you put it in a bowl and burn it. Yeah. You say whatever ritual you create, whatever ritual you want, you can look it up on YouTube. I can, I can give you a lot of tips and pointers on that, but I want you to look it up. I want you to do the research so that you can see it for yourself, how these work, right? 
they need to be completely gone from your energy space altogether. So if they were to try to come back, even energetically, that door is closed. Because you don't live there anymore. You don't live in that space, that space and time anymore. That is what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you for tuning in. And again, happy Sunday and congratulations for your ascension. You're not going backwards. You're only moving forward. Bye.